Welcome, Welcome. Bienvenue. Bienvenue. Bienvenido. Bienvenido. My name is Sasha Jones. You may have uh, seen me running around uh, the events for uh, s'assurer que tout coule bien. Yeah, I'm the one uh, running and, and just uh, looking uh, frantically at if everything uh, happens well. But aujourd'hui, on est dans des temps très spéciaux. Donc, uh, on est uh, bien sûr uh, tous en uh, quarantaine et on trouve des nouvelles façons pour euh, interagir, créer de l'art et créer de quoi de bien euh, avec euh, cette, nouvelle, euh, cette nouvelle chose qui nous est imposée. Um, so, just a little breakdown of the show. We are going to have a bunch of uh, different art content going through uh, all the time. So, it could be previous art jams, it could be um, the artists that are on the current lineup that send us stuff. And, uh, of course, we will also have interviews and questions so the public please uh, do not hesitate to you know interact with us on zoom we'll have um, one-on-one -on -one interviews with a couple of artists here i am with my co-host hello Ma <laughs> maddie williston straight from new brunswick uh, uh, not straight, that's for sure. Pretty crooked, <laughs> but yes, I am from New Brunswick. Matthew Kingsley Wilson on the microphone. Hi, mom, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> so we're doing this. So, bien sûr, les studios de Nomad Live, où est-ce que tout euh, se déroule et, et bien sûr, où est-ce que toute la magie euh, s'est passée depuis euh, jour 1. Ça fait maintenant proche de 4 ans que le Hard Jam existe. Croyez-le croyez ou pas, euh, c'était supposé, ben c'est encore la 36e édition. Euh, qu'on qu 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 fait ça. On va essayer de, de recréer le monde Art Jam pour le monde ici à la maison qui nous écoute. Donc, euh, come on a ride with us, please, uh, in this whole energy. We have people on Zoom. We're seeing uh, people on uh, slowly logging themselves on. What's up, everyone? What up, Philippe? Philippe just got online. All these beautiful people doing their thing. Our first artist that we're going to talk to is just joined online. That's I know, I know. Cool. People are ready. People are 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 somewhat excited about this whole uh, virtual things that are happening. And one one of the thir first things that I've realized is that you know at least we have this technology to bring us together. Imagine if we had this happen to us like 15 years ago. Sana zoom. What would we have done without this? We sh no R jam. We certainly would have would not have said jokes like "Okay, Zoomer." <laughs> uh huh. That's a new joke, right? It is. It is good. Uh, um, I and I just want to say uh, it's super cool that uh, Jay uh, Rody from Nomads and you, Sasha Jones from Good Vibes People, um, and also a technician in the house and Collective Arts Beer, who is also sponsoring us tonight. Thanks, yo. I just want to say that I think it's a really cool initiative. It's such a crazy time in the world that shit's breaking down. Reality as we know it, our capitalistic society, all of that is falling away. But that there's still such a drive and a mission to uh, continue and not just give up. And that's not, that's not easy necessarily. And if you're at home right now and you're like, I can't do shit, I can just lay around. That's okay too. Come si si vous êtes chez vous, puis tu sens bien, pas bien, just relax and watch the show. You don't gotta fucking, you know, uh, what's uh, what's his name that made calculus? No, I, Isaac Newton? <laughs> yeah. He was in quarantine, and we don't all make calculus, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I just wanted to say, 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 but I'm all cool for the initiative, so uh, I'm super happy to be a part of this. Uh, you know, I've, I've only been enjoying the art jams for three or four of them now. Uh, here at Nomads, but I've loved everyone. It's, you know, out of all the events that used to come through, it's definitely my favorite. And I think you've built That's something really, really cool. Thank it's, you so much, it, sir. It, it's the people that I would invite, invite into my living room. Everybody that comes out our jam could be my friends in real life. So, like, please don't hesitate to, to, to reach out. Um, well, thank he's you. Because he's bored. Because I'm, 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 I'm right bored. I need friends right now. <laughs> he's talked to everybody on Zoom <laughs> yeah, already. I'm he's done. Just like... I went through the whole thing. <laughs> So uh, once again, thank you, uh, Jason. Thank you, Matt, for being uh, a co-host with us. Uh, like I said, 36 editions deep. 
Uh, we did not expect uh, the virtual edition. So don't worry everyone, we are respecting the two meters. We're very uh, conscious of the whole... Don't freak out anybody. <laughs> don't freak out anybody. Uh, Jason has his blue gloves, so you know we're good. You know we're good. And, and all, exactly. the, all the rest of us feel like our hands are about to break open and our skin suits are just ready to fall off our hands and our skeletons are just about to pop out. Right? <laughs> Pretty you much. You feel like that Pretty crack much. right open. Pretty much. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, guys, uh, before we start, we do definitely want to have a huge shout out to uh, Collective Arts, which uh, are helping us co-present this whole uh, this whole edition in uh, the new 2020 and beyond. So, uh, actually, uh, Bruno was nice enough to bring us a few beers. Um, drop, I see. Drop them off at the door. Just drop them off at the door. So, uh, before we start this whole edition, we'll give a few words from our sponsor and the Quebec representative, Bruno Mallet. Young Line. Bruno, what's good? We're doing good. Oh, on est bien, comment tu vas toi? Un peu collective art, guys, c'est quoi? C'est euh, une microbrasserie de Hamilton en Ontario qui est maintenant disponible depuis octobre au Québec. Euh, on arrive avec des produits vraiment funky et ça nous fait vraiment, vraiment plaisir d'être un partenaire de Hard Jam euh, depuis euh, quelques mois maintenant. Euh, comme on peut voir dans l'image un peu plus bas, euh, on arrive avec des superbes nouveautés. Euh, on a ici une bière sûre, mangue tangerine, a beautiful mangerine, uh, tangerine mango sour. Was gonna sell really, really great well, uh, in the market. Um, we are specialized in IPAs and sour beer. Our main focus is to promote art, buy your can, buy your beer. So it's to fuel creativity with creativity. So we working with around 200 uh, different artists from all around the world uh, for our visual and our can. Uh, so if you want to be one of the, those artists. Uh, go on collectiveartbrewing.com and go into the section call for art. Uh, this is your time to shine. Uh, we're working with like a lot of people, not only the biggest uh, artists in the world, we're looking with like young talent from everywhere in the world and uh, having our heart in the can is always a cool thing. Yeah, guys? Awesome. That's so, uh, yes, uh, merci, merci beaucoup, beaucoup de, 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 de créer ce contenu-là. Uh, Art Jam est quelque chose d'important, je pense, pour la communauté culturelle montréalaise et éventuellement d'un peu partout uh, dans le monde, je crois. Hein? Faire une version un jour de Art Jam en Allemagne, ça serait vraiment génial. <rire> mais uh, one step at a time. <rire> uh, donc, uh, tous les artistes de ce monde qui veulent uh, créer quelque chose de cool et être uh, encore plus dans votre pièce, Uh, call for art. Merci beaucoup, uh, Bruno, pour uh, tout ça. Et uh, en effet, Collective Arts, nice, nice company. And uh, I hope you guys are doing well uh, within these strange and uh, uncertain times. Uh, parlant de justement uh, other uh, places in the world, uh, we were supposed to go uh, in Brooklyn just a few uh, weeks ago. And obviously, with everything that came down, we could not. So uh, we know that it's not easy uh, in New York. So. Our hearts are out to uh, the people from uh, Brooklyn and New York City and the States in, in general that are experiencing uh, a whole other level of uh, quarantining uh, than we are. So let's be uh, one uh, happy that we're maybe not in that situation, but also try to help out in any way uh, we can. Um, so I have a video from uh, one of you guys' artists called Burnt Toast. Burnt Toast. Yeah, we, we can go check out that. Uh, Let's see some burnt toast. Right now. Let's check some burnt toast, baby. Let's go. It smells like burnt toast in it here. Smells like burnt toast. It smells like burnt toast. I'm Scott. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator, and I work under the alias Burnt Toast. My work's been described as playful cynicism. It's really amazing the, the weight that a few lines on a piece of paper can carry. I usually have a, a goal in mind, but I, I try to stay open to the idea that something completely unexpected can happen. Once you've come up with an idea, so most of the time, actually, I will redraw it from a new perspective, maybe even a few times. Even if you're happy with the drawing, I'll draw it again, just to see if you can get it even more right. And then scan it in, fix it up in Photoshop a bit, move it over to Adobe Illustrator, render it digitally, and color it. Sometimes you'll, you'll just draw one thing, 
and then your hand will take over and start building on that drawing. I mean, you're almost not even in control. The act of just starting grows into this thing that you never expected or didn't even really play a role in. Creativity does feel creativity, just in the sense that when you start creating, things build off of that. You can start drawing something and you can sort of, it can warp and you can take a back seat. It can become something completely unintentional. We're back, uh, just shouting out to the people that are starting to get online. We see you, what's up? We'll get to you in uh, just a few seconds, but uh, thank you for joining us can right you, can here. Can we hear them? Can we, how does the sound work? I don't know, can we hear them? You guys tell we me. We have to unmute them. You have to unmute them. Yeah, we are. There. Oh, we're nice. listening. Oh. Say hi, everybody. Oh, this is trippy. This looks like a, a virtual party. This, this is everything I've hoped for. So uh, yeah, seeing all of you beautiful faces. What's up, and people? If you, if you have, if I can say, if you got a canvas there and you're ready to paint some, I see, I see one right here. Get painting, right? Get painting, of get, course. Get painting, friends. If you're ready to art, you're ready to jam, just do it. You're going to share that with us later. Oui, We're donc euh, n'hésitez pas si vous voulez euh, jammer euh, on the side en même temps, donc euh, sortez vos matériaux et go crazy. So, um, as, as a regular art jam, right? Let's go crazy, let's, let's get go, nuts. Let's go nuts. Um, so, obviously this time of change has uh, brought in about lots of different ways of going about I guess art, you know, so uh, since we're talking mostly to the creative community for everybody that's watching, what is it, what do you think, Matt, is um, the changes that are going to be uh, brought about by this new world? Like, wh how, what does this mean for content creators and all types of artists out there? You know, when it, when it, for me, when it first started happening, this idea of doing this multi-cam Zoom and everything else, um, it, was, it was really trippy because I, all of a sudden we were in a digital club, we could see these other screens, we're hanging out together but separately. And, um, and then I started thinking about you know, the virtu virtual reality aspect of it. Right. Because that is kind of what we're doing. You know? right. So first it, it starts with us, you know, just talking on a screen and then we want more interaction. So we put the screen on our face and then we put on our sensor suits and then we can high five people. And then we're in these kind of 3D environments that are, you know, uh, uh, virtual. Like if you've seen, you know, uh, Ready Player One, that kind of thing. Like that thing seems so much closer with just, mm -hmm. just a few weeks ago. Yeah. Now this seems so much closer. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think that's an interesting aspect of it. Um, I mean, on the artistic tip, I had um, my buddy Josh, uh, who's also known as So Called. I don't know if you know this artist, okay. right? Yeah. Hip hop klezmer artist uh, makes puppets, makes shows, does magic, does cookbooks. Really inspiring guy. And he was kind of very playful at the first of it. You know, I'm keeping up with him on Facebook and seeing what he's saying. You know, and then one day he posts, "Are we just all going to be digital buskers?" <laughs> Right? right, and I the, I hit the laugh button, that little laughy emoji yeah. right away, the old ha ha, you know, <laughs> and then like as the stream went on, he just kind of like it, it went from kind of like a joke to kind of like a serious like, and he was very much sharing his feelings about it, you know, like well no, but what is this? What am I what am I going to teach piano? I've never taught piano before, and to who? To kids that are then going to be digital buskers as well, right? You know, so there was this very much this realness and. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, all, it's all unreal until we make it our own realities. You know, we're creating our own reality here as well. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's, it's unseen. We don't know because we've never seen it. And you know, you spalais plutôt de, de virtual reality. Et moi, je me disais toujours qu'éventuellement, la technologie va peut-être remplacer les événements. Puis tu sais quoi? Je suis rendu à un point que je me dis non, au contraire, ça, ça prouve à quel point qu'on a besoin le contact. Tu sais, on a tous les Zoom and, and that's great that we can be more efficient, faster, uh, etc. Mais c'est, il y a tellement quelque chose qui manque dans euh, ces interactions-là, puis dans le feeling de, de, de faire quelque chose qui n'est pas one-on-one. -on -one. Puis, ouais. euh, 
si on pouvait juste prendre les bons côtés et, euh, et, et les utiliser pour simplifier notre vie, mais de, de, de porter une plus grande importance à justement ce contact humain-là, euh, je pense qu'à ce moment-là, on va être capable de, de, de sortir de ça euh, des meilleurs humains, des meilleurs créateurs, des meilleurs business people yeah, man, en général. Oui, yeah, yeah, totally. yeah, And again, I think that you're, it's, it's for you to create that. Mm -hmm. It's for me to create that. It's for everybody watching this that decided to participate in this tonight that's zooming in on their color candles, mm -hmm. their, their, on their color mm -hmm. uh, the pencil sticks that's ready to go, you know? Like, yeah. this is all like, we are doing this. We're creating this new reality. It's exciting, as much as it's scary, It's, it's exciting and you know, and I love your, what you're saying that it's going to bring us to be more engaged, you know? Exactly. And, and not more distant, you know, but more connected. Like, holy fuck, I actually love hanging out with humans. Yeah. You know? Exactly. After like you don't do anything for a little while and you're like, you know, you know how you feel about it. Exactly. And there's people out there who are probably like, fuck, I hated humans, still hate them. <laughs> staying home, you know? Like, cool, whatever. That, that's okay too. You know, exactly. It's all okay. Um, so we'll take a little break and after we'll be on our first interview with my man Philip Mastrocola. Woo! Okay, here my man. So uh, give us a few a few seconds and uh, we'll we'll uh, join back in with our first interview. Philip, get ready, get on. Trumpet, c'est de son caméra, c'est un des zoomers. What's up, my man? Philip, what's good? Let's just let that guy rock for a second, huh? Yeah, sure. He's a pirate. Taking the opportunity, Doc Fox. Hey, what's up, uh, the art jammers? I see uh, everybody seems to be having a good time. Uh, I see people uh, just jamming out, some people just chilling. Uh, it's good to see all y'all. Um, respect for uh, letting us into your uh, universe for these uh, few hours. Um, so, my man, Philip Mastrocola. Uh, how's it going, buddy? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, that's what's up. Technology is amazing. Um, so, uh, first of all, man, how are you coping with this? Like, uh, how, how, uh, how, is, how is everything? You know, doing okay. Yeah? Doing okay? Yeah. Cool, man. That's what's I mean, up. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting yeah. times. Definitely something unique <laughs> that nobody's lived. So, there's no experience that you're banking on. But it's nice that the world is forced to slow down and stop. I want you to go close. And readjust and think about what kind of life they truly want to live and what kind of life they should live. Can you uh, tell us a, a, a couple of things that you think you're changing uh, in, in your life? So you said that you're, you're, you seem to be I mean, realigning. I'm acknowledging that I don't want to be part of a rat race in the sense that I don't want to be chasing something that I feel like I, I'm always late for something. I'm always trying to maximize my time. I'm always trying to be produ as productive as possible and this constant need to be as productive as possible it's uh is is it's difficult to live in day in day out and it's it's way more pleasant for you to just uh ground your reground yourself and 
not be over focused on the how productive you're being, but what you're doing and how you're doing it and what intention you're you're putting each stroke in. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this time for my art and to do a lot of painting and uh, play a lot of piano, do a lot of yoga, do a lot of stretching and uh, better myself and be ready for that. What, what comes out from it next, I'll be I'll be stronger than I was coming into it. So, I guess I live a pretty fortunate life that I'm grateful for the, the way that my life was before this, this problem. And even now that we're in this problem, it's still similar in S that I'm still creating all the time. So I acknowledge the fact that I do find that my creating is, is important though every day. And regardless of the medium, regardless of the time, regardless of whatever the purpose of, of that moment is creating, is that I'm creating, so um, flexible and happy with any situation, and not living. That's what's up, Philip. Thanks a lot for uh, joining us, and uh, let's go back to the jam, guys. Uh, so see what everybody is up to on the virtual world. Or 17 if I remember correctly so a year a half a year and a half ago I remember it was a really cold February night and they just came with their hot sweet reggae and uh, just basically jammed the hell out and it was amazing but uh, back to uh, the present back to maintenant uh, en passant Nicolas on s'en vient à toi très bientôt uh, dans une moins qu'une dizaine de minutes on va venir uh, te parler uh, but moi j'allais m'ouvrir une Pineapple Vanilla IPA qui n'est même pas encore sorti au Québec. Oui, oh! donc euh, nouvelle bière. Tu peux la cam ou ouais, cam ou ya. Yeah, Pineapple ça, Vanilla. Quoi? Ça c'est comme. Oh wow. Artwork on this. Yeah. Check out the artwork on this. Okay, every can, every can is different. Except these two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
insane in the membrane. And I'm sure vanilla, pineapple. Hey, shout out to uh, everyone uh, on the Zoom thing. We see you. We see you jamming. What's up, Dumb? What's up, uh, <laughs> Philip? What's up, everyone? We see you. Uh, definitely keep on. Keep on the good vibes going. So for sure. Um, and so also shout out to all the YouTube people watching at www.nomadlife.tv. I remember we were talking about coming back to normal right after this. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what is normal? And what if you've never been to normal? What does? How do you find your way back? Do, what does coming back to normal even mean? Well, I mean, really, it's, I, are you asking me the question? I'm asking you the question, yes. To, to be really honest with you, um, and I'm just going to speak personally. That's where I'm going to speak from. I'm not going to talk state of the world, whatever else it is. Um, I have been freelance my whole life. I've never had a real a nine to five job. The things that I usually do have been uh, creative passions in some kind of sense. It's something that I've done. It's been more than a drive just for capitalism and attaining wealth and having more comfort. I'm, I've actually gone the other way. I've, I enjoy more uncomfort to bring something, you know? Right. So for me, it's not a huge change to not have money to spend a whole lot of time alone, to go within myself, to hang out with myself, that hasn't been like a huge difference, you know? Mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time for the past two years alone while with my duck. I love you, Mr. Miggs! He loves me too. Um, I spent a lot of time with my dog and yeah, it was kind of like training for this. And uh, I don't know, so there's not a huge difference personally for myself, and I understand there's a whole world going on out there that is crumbling and it is, and everybody's going through it. And that's actually a more comforting thing when I think about it. When I think about it individualist, individualistically, mm -hmm. when I think about holy shit, like all of my shit is gonna burn, like everything is gonna, my, my, the people I know, like every, my world is gonna burn. But when I think our world is burning, that it collectively together, that almost gives me comfort. Yeah. I don't know if that's a sick kind of thing, but if we're all burning, it's kind of like we're all burning together. Yeah. You know? Well, I, I, I relate to that because I remember at the beginning, it was just like, okay, everything that is events is out. I remember that was the first thing that they were just like throwing under the bus. And I'm like, shit, like my whole business is, is, is focused around events. What the hell am I going to do? But as time rolls on, it's like, oh, then the whole world is pretty much shutting down except tech com companies, uh, food stores and toilet paper, basically. So I'm like, <laughs> good, we're in this together. So yeah. I feel much better being in a whole boat that sinks rather than me being alone <laughs> drifting at sea, you know? So uh, yeah. I'm happy to be sinking with all of you yes! right now. It's a pleasure to be <laughs> sinking collectively together and uh, take this time to create a brand new world after this. So um, yeah, definitely, definitely. And, and happy to be sinking with you too. Yes. We're, we're actually happy to be rising out of the ashes, out of the sinking, floating to the surface, grab, grabbing a life raft or whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Migs. Yeah, I know yeah. Jason doesn't like this. I'm sorry. Just one more time. It's for TV. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Look, Migs is good. But, you know, you were talking about that when you, you felt that feeling of like, holy shit, like events are over. What the fuck? I yeah. remember talking to you that day. Y yeah. We, we had, you know, we had been speaking at the, at the start of this, in yeah. the middle of this, and, you know, like, and yeah, like there was devastation in your voice for sure. Like there was like, I don't fucking know. And you, you were like, I'm going to have to, this was like pre, like this three weeks ago and now yeah. complete yeah. different realities. It is different. It complete, is different. Complete, you know? Complete different. And you were like, fuck, I have this thing in Brooklyn. Do I have to cancel it? I don't know. How serious is it? You know? And it's like, it's very real. It was so real, you know? And, and now I have to say you do have more of a calm about it. I do. And I think it's, it's, it's like I said, based on the fact that we're all in this together, it's like things can't help but have to be all right eventually, you know? Like if we're all in the same thing, it's, it's kind of like, you know, like pe people in third world countries, they're not 
asking themselves, oh, I don't have a yacht. I don't have this. You know, they they they're just happy with what they have within their current circumstance. And in a way, I kind of feel like this thing brings us all to the level of just being human and being like, hey, let's let's just figure it out together. You know, obviously, yeah, some dude. people are going to win. Some people are going to lose. But at the end of the day, we will survive this and we will live another day and we will prosper and we will keep going on so uh, to all the creators out there all the people with especially small and medium businesses i feel you uh we're definitely uh in the same boat and uh yeah man let's let's fais on ça ensemble ça va bien aller comme ils disent ça va bien aller Can, um, I, can I speak to that for a second? Please do. Um, so you're talking about the local businesses, the small to medium businesses, right. you know, uh, entertainment industry, artistry, food, whatever it is. Okay, we're we're talking about this um, guaranteed income. Yeah. Right. Which I think is is smart, mm -hmm. but for it to work, I think people will have to remember that we're going to have to gender, spend our changing. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna have to spend. We're our gonna have to habits. spend differently. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to change our, <laughs> our spending, spending habits. habits. Right, yes. right. So because you know the way a lot of people shop right now is to save three bucks on that pack of whatever it is, or five bucks on that two four whatever it is. We go to Costco. We go to Walmart. We go to we bulk buy. We don't get it from the local farmer because if we had to get it from the local farmer, we have to like sign up for a box online for them to like deliver it to our house. Can everybody fucking do that? <laughs> but there's a whole bunch of those CSA programs. Yeah. You know? So like, uh, but I think spending will have to change for that to actually enrich our economy. Mm -hmm. Because if you're going to go and spend that two thousand bucks you got guaranteed income at Walmart and Costco and the big box stores, none of that is trickling back into the community, and it's just farting out in the wind. Mad facts. All, all. I, I have nothing to add to that because uh, just that. Just I had that thought the other day, and it's it it it's it's all well and good to say, okay, well, good. I'm going to spend that two thousand dollars. I'm going to spend it real tight, even tighter than before. I might as well shop at Walmart so I can get an extra ham bone or yeah. whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. But it's like, no, actually, you're going to have to think about our system, where the money goes where you shit and what you're throwing out. Mm -hmm. The days of like drinking a plastic thing and just it disappearing, there's no fucking out. Excuse my language, everybody. I'm a little salty tonight. <laughs> Loose. Loose. Well, yeah, and, and it's, it's a shame that it has to come to this for us to realize it. And the more I feel that I contribute myself into a community, the more I want to contribute to you know, the local, the, the local businesses, there, there's something about, you know, doing this and, and buying from each other mm -hmm. that really creates, you know, a, a, that's the definition of community, yeah. you know, it's, 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 yeah. that's what it is. And that's what it, we may need to go back to in a certain sense, um, not just for the money, but just so we can sustain everyone. Like, And self, like, really, are you gonna save two bucks? Like, at the end of the day, it all equals out. Like, you're you're never gonna be. People you know. will. People will save the two bucks with a capitalistic mentality, and the capitalistic mentality is what brought us to this point where we are right now, and what we're all kind of freaking out about because we were all on this drive of money makes us safe. Money is good. As long as we have money, it's cool. Sorry, I kind of stabbed you a little bit there. It was for money. I had to feed the fam yeah. or whatever it was. It's like, no, that, you know, what family are you feeding? What are you taking away from? Who are you actually enriching? Mm -hmm. True can, that. Can anybody out there see my COVID-19 haircut, self haircut? Yeah, How's please that? zoom in on that. Uh, no, I think I got a quality haircut. Prochain, on va aller euh, au prochain appel euh, ouais. avec Nicolan. Euh, Nicolan qui nous a envoyé euh, du contenu euh, superbe en passant. Euh, C'est une nouvelle artiste qu'on vient de découvrir euh, dans. Euh, et, est venue au, au, au dernier Art Jam, right? Ah, euh, euh, attends une seconde, Nicolas, on, on va te mettre ton son pour qu'on t'écoute. Nicolas, est-ce que tu m'entends? <rire> Whoa. Using, using, using rice, I know that. Est-ce que c'est elle? 
Nicolas, est-ce que, est que tu m'entends? Something else to jam about. <rire> J'ai vraiment la chance de pouvoir euh, prendre du temps pour créer pour like moi-même. Je prendre la tête euh, de faire euh, des activités euh, que j'avais négligées. Alors là, en ce moment, je peux comme un peu plus me renouer avec moi-même et faire ça. Ça, c'est un peu plus rough de ne pas trop moins, de voir le monde comme qu'on aime, comme qu'on aimerait. Mais au moins, euh, j'avais encore une grande présence à mes amis. Alors, je trouve ça trop bien. Alors, ça va vraiment bien pour moi. On n'est pas à guerre au moins. J'ai euh, une citation que j'ai vue sur euh, Internet euh, ben, qui, euh, qui euh, 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 disait euh, euh, en l'urgence de revenir à une vie normale, disons ce temps pour considérer quelle partie de la normalité ou la peine qu'on se presse à retrouver. Donc, Donc euh, euh, ma question à toi, c'est qu'il y a certaines choses, certaines choses que justement, que justement tu, tu euh, euh, veux. veux tu ne veux pas tu garder, pas garder euh, quand on euh, revient quand on à, à, à la normale, peu importe c'est quoi le normal pour toi. Euh, ben oui, déjà un peu notre euh, surconsommation. Je pense que c'est là qu'on voit un peu qu'est-ce qu qui est nécessaire, qu'on n'a peut-être pas besoin autant de consommer, qu'on peut enfin réduire un peu ce bille qu'on a super rapide. Là, en ce moment, tout le monde est forcé d'arrêter. On nous a forcé de dire qu'on arrête, on prend le temps. Quand on a l'habitude d'estimer genre 24 heures sur 24, alors, on peut voir que l'isolement, des fois, ça va nous forcer un peu de réfléchir sur soi-même, à apprendre à affronter certaines choses qu'on ne voulait pas affronter, vu que la vie était super rapide. On, on, on pouvait s'échapper, mais là, on n'a pas le choix de ne pas s'échapper. Alors, je pense que la normale, j'espère que les gens vont comme continuer à dire « OK, j'aime ça me garder un temps pour moi ». Prendre le temps de dire « OK, j'ai le droit de ralentir, j'ai le droit de souffler et genre d'être un peu moins stimulé, d'accepter un peu plus la banalité, la normalité ». Que ça soit genre 24 sur 24, un gros J'espère que c'est ça. Ouais, puis tu, tu peux prendre le temps de justement réaliser les, les belles choses. Parce que c'est comme si quand tu te fais tellement bombarder de, de tout bord, tout côté, puis comme tu dis, courir à 24 sur 24, se consommer, etc., c'est comme si toutes les, les choses que tu aimes, au final, ça s'applaque. C'est comme si tout, c'est juste, ah, c'est quoi la prochaine affaire, c'est quoi la prochaine affaire. Quoi la prochaine affaire? Mais maintenant, peut-être qu'on on est plus rendu à un point que, en espérant qu'on est capable de prendre les bons côtés lorsqu'on sort de ça, de justement, euh, avoir, je sais pas si c'est la gratitude, mais au moins réaliser que, c'est l'éventail d'expériences qui réalité que c'est pas c'est une vie assez complexe et riche qu'on qu qu vivait avant ça ouais ben exactement et genre, genre pouvoir apprécier aussi un peu plus euh, qu ce qu'on a parce qu'on disait qu'on avait tout le temps de temps et on l'a pour acquis pour notre genre mais par contre c'est une notion super abstraite et difficile à apprécier si on n'a pas de connaissance de ça Exactement. Merci, Nicolas, d'avoir été avec On a du contenu de toi qu'on va faire jouer. Maintenant, mon crazy équipe technique va vous mettre ça en ce moment. Je me suis acheté récemment l'iPad. Alors, bien sûr, je découvre Procreate et je capote. Et qu'est-ce qu'il fait avec cette app? Tu peux enregistrer ton ton développement de tes dessins. Alors, c'est quoi? Genre, la construction, un hein? sort de speed et painting. Alors, en gros, c'est toutes mes dernières œuvres que j'ai faites récemment qu'on va voir euh, en temps avancé comment j'ai construit. Alors, du brouillon au link propre, au choix des couleurs et voir que ça, là, ça va vite. Alors, ça paraît pas intense, mais des fois, je les essaye en tabarnouche les couleurs pour être sûr. <rire> <rire> ouais, ouais, c'est ça. Alors, c'est pas mal mes derniers dessins que, que j'ai fait dernièrement avec la tablette et qu'on peut voir l'enregistrement. Euh, à penser. Oh, C'est pas mal ça. <rire> cool. Ben, cool. Ben, écoute, merci beaucoup, Nicolas, et euh, reste à, en santé, et on a hâte de te revoir au Art Jam, euh, définitivement, un, un moment très, très rapproché. Mais merci pour euh, tes, euh, tes beaux mots, et euh, on va euh, vous laisser euh, la gang avec euh, ces euh, dernières images de la dernière création de Nicolas, et on vous revient dans un instant.
Let's go back to the Zoom party for a few seconds because people are jamming extra hard on the Zoom party. Uh, Matt, tell us, tell us what's happening, man. What's the well? What's, what's the intel? Well, uh, you know, we we do have a lot of people on here since eight o three p.m. People have been saying, "Hey, what's up?" Uh, Anita Cott, uh, Maya Barrete, Lulu Brenner, Mala Barrett, Catherine Record. Hannah, no, this, I'm seriously, oh, Zoe Galan, how you doing? CD Lacey, all y'all out there, yes, yes, yes. Anita, what up? Uh, I'm repeating good Francois. So, yeah, there's lots of people out here, and I, I do, uh, I would love you to keep chatting. Everybody keep chatting and, and, you know, get together with each other, too. Like, these are people that you would hang out with. Yeah. These are all people that you would be like at the art jam with right now. So, you know, don't Showing. be shy. Yeah, don't be shy to like hit, you know, say, hey, what up? Yeah, I killed it. Like, yes, what is happening? We're not sure either. Mm -hmm. Nicole, <laughs> Nicole and Ducef. Rita Love, what up? How you doing? I heard you do tarot. Dominic, Rita, is your mic open? Okay, love you guys and keep doing these things where you're just here and we're all here together, you know? Sounds much better. We like to hear that, Phil. Sound is cool. much better. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> uh, sorry got... for the echo, guys. I don't know what happened. I feel like I went to all evil, evil can evil on you guys. Rem but, um, do you remember? Dr. Evil, I mean, sorry. Do you remember? <laughs> do you remember yesterday? Or I'm not sure if you were here. Maybe it was uh, just uh, Jason and no, you weren't here yesterday. Um, so, I was I was told that the echoes wouldn't be here tonight. Do you oh. remember that? Does anybody yeah. remember that? Right? The I echoes. Remember. Somebody said the echoes were social distancing too, and they wouldn't be working either. They were on time off. Yeah. <laughs> but was that you, Jay? Yes. Yeah. No, they were off tonight. They yeah. weren't supposed to be here. They yeah. weren't. They weren't. No. Well, we, uh, we even we called them off, and everything, but I, I guess they didn't get the email. They didn't. No memo. Um, so what yeah what's happening what's happening sounds much better let's see so i've been hearing like people jamming actual music i've been seeing people uh live paint i've been seeing people chilling hard uh la SRQ et la SQDC est toujours ouverte si vous avez définitivement prenez-vous la collective arts et très bon et très bon très bon how's your how's your beer how how was it Good. You know, I think there was a hole in the can because it disappeared so quick. <laughs> yeah, ah, I, see, I see. The hole might have been near the top. I'm yeah. not sure, but uh, it was delicious, actually. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't quite a milkshake because, you know, as we said, milkshakes are delicious. And they bring too many people to the yard? Too they many boys, usually. Boys. Boys. boys to the yard. Boys, okay. Yeah. And, I, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah. So, uh, Matt, so um, a few things that... Nicolan said that that I like that I I'd like to chat with you. Yeah, saying the whole issue, uh, the whole notion. I mean, of slowing down. Mm. You know, ralentir, ouais. prendre le temps de ouais. réaliser uh, les choses qui nous entourent. How how do you think? How do you think in a post world? Do you think people were, are just gonna forget very fast and go back to run, 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 <laughs> or do you think people are gonna you know take the time to to acknowledge the different different things that are good in their lives. What, what do you think? Well, you know, I'd love to give you a really, like, positive, shiny answer, you know? <laughs> But I really do think, unfortunately, uh, as a species, our collective memory is super short. You know, so I think there will be a moment where we're, like, wow, we're all one species, we're all human, let's, let's get on this together. Unfortunately, I think that's going to take a lot more deaths. It's not just going to take 
another week of, you know, staying inside or whatever, like, we're going to have some more tragedy before this is over, to be honest, you know? And do you think um, it's possible for us to, do you think this will be like a point in history, like, you know, I, I guess our, our, our ancestors say, oh, I, I lived through the war. Do you yeah. think it's that same kind of thing? Do you think we're, we're on that level? Or do you think 100. it's kind of like no. the ice storm, which no. is like, haha, it happened, but no. you know. 100, I do think that. I think we're in the midst of a pendulum swing. The okay. pre and post. We're in the middle of this right now. We'll talk about, oh, that was pre-COVID-19. You know, like, oh, remember when, you know, ba 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 you know, for a while, that, that will be it. We talk about that with uh, 9-11, you know, mm -hmm. and that, that really we do. And India had changed a whole bunch in the airports and the traveling and racism. It brought up so much disgusting racism. And mm -hmm. as has this, you know, mm -hmm. I love humans, mm -hmm. you know, but we have shitty parts. Too, yeah. You yeah. know, we have beautiful light love parts and then fear and darkness parts. So do you think it's fear that, that, that breeds all this? You're talking about racism. You're talking about, you know, having a short memory span. Do you think that it, it does it come up or does it exist because of this new situation? People are all like, hey, chacun pour soi, you know, like what's which one do you think it is? I think both of those happen. You know, I think these these situations are polarizing, you know, and I think, you know, everybody, uh, you know, they have this idea of how they'll be when, you know, if their neighbor really needs help or, you know, like, oh, I'm a good person. I would do anything for, you know, all right, those people have you, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Personally, in the apocalypse, like in 2012, I was an apocalyptic. <laughs> okay. You know, I was like, shit is going down, whatever, my calendar shifting, whatever, whatever. Yeah. You know, so you like, I did things like got a gun license and, you know, like learned, you know, got a big book that taught me everything, learned about solar power, whatever, whatever. <sighs> I was just bragging. <laughs> These are, 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 are doing, doing the jokes, doing the music, doing the art. I mean, doing, I mean you guys are just running the show here. Is, is there anybody that's working on a piece that they can show us on their Zoom that they want to hold up and their oui. progress? Est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un qui est en train de faire de l'art en live qui voudrait nous montrer le progrès où ils en sont? On va essayer de vous mettre, de, de, de vous mettre. Je vois en bas à droite il y a quelqu'un qui s'en. Oh. Who's this? What's up, Anita? How's it going? Show us. How, nice. How's That's the, amazing. How's the future? I love this. Wow. Wow. So cool. This is amazing. Oh, I okay, guess. take another one. There's one in I the guess bottom she got corner tried, there. But there's more, there's more uh, art yeah. that we can see. Yeah. Je pense que les gens vont être transformés, plus sensibles aux autres et qu'ils vont connecter plus à l'univers, à l'amour universel. Très beau, très beau texte. J'espère moi aussi que le monde euh, sont transformés. Merci Maya Barrette, euh, Barrette pour euh, ce, 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 beau, euh, ce beau message. Moi aussi, j'espère que, que ce qui se passe. Et, euh, il y allait avoir beaucoup de panique, mais je que le monde. Ils sont relativement chill par rapport à tout ça et euh, ils ont très très bon. Donc, euh, j'aime bien de la façon que tu vois. Um, so, I guess our man Germ D is not here. So, we're going to go to our next interview with Zoe. Zoe, what's up? Are you here? Uh, is Zoe in the house? No. Hello. Hello, Zoe. How's it going? Hi. We're happy to have you on. We're happy that people are uh, are uh, are connecting. So, uh, Zoe, how how have you been? Uh, how have you been coping with all this uh, this madness? I mean, pretty good. At first, it felt like never ending. Time had no meaning, kind of feeling. But now I've been painting and drawing every day and. You know, doing more yoga just like everybody else, and that seems to be helping. Right. I feel like people are really diving into creativity and wellness, right? Like at, at this. Well, I mean, like we can kind of ignore a lot of the business side of things and just get a chance to make things and not focus on so many different things. You know. 
Exactly. And, and uh, what you just said kind of reminded me of something. I, I, I looked at a documentary about money a couple of, a couple of weeks yeah. ago, right in the midst of a crisis when I was pretty much uh, at, at, at my lowest point. And um, they said that, you know, back in the day, not everything was about money. Money was one thing amongst everything, you know, amongst family, amongst values, amongst uh, a bunch of stuff was free, but with uh, you know, like now with the new market trying to sell everything, everything kind of went under one roof about money. And now with that kind of out of the way, it's like we're slowly going back in time in terms of our values, in terms of our activities, and in terms of just everything. So, so it is, I guess, a good break to, to kind of get off that money train for a bit and just enjoy life and, and, and the the free pleasure. Yeah, I mean, like we're not spending anything. We're just staying here, and it's making us all actually call each other, which we wouldn't normally do, right. and things like that. You know, so it's nice to have a forced separation from all that. Exactly. Um, so, uh, so, so I'm guessing you're you're seeing it mostly as a positive experience for your uh, for your creativity. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, I've been really lucky that I was already on employment insurance when this whole thing went down. So I haven't had to worry about finances, luckily, like a lot of people have. Um, but um, yeah, I just was already at home. I was taking French courses, which got canceled, unfortunately, but I just got to go back to doing painting. Um, unfortunately, I can't be at my studio because of all of it, but I've set up you know, uh, a temporary space, like I think a lot of people have, so that's been okay. Oh. Amazing. Um, so obviously, I mean, <laughs> mostly business people, uh, their, their sense of identity is really tied up to, to what they do, right? Like, um, and- Absolutely. And so if somehow that stops, it definitely kind of pushes you to, to reinvent yourself in, in a certain way. I know I'm certainly, in the process of reinventing myself to, to a certain extent, I do have uh, faith that, um, you know, all the good things will, 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 will come back, but, uh, you can't, oh, when are we not, when are we not reinventing ourselves? Right. Right. That's another good point. Like when, but I think now it's kind of the whole thing in accelerated, like not just what you do, but your values, um, what's important, uh, how you spend your time, like just having this much free time, is actually, well, at least for me, it, it, it makes me learn a lot about time management and how little time we really have in a day. You know? uh, yeah, when you get to sort of see it all the way through, a day goes by pretty fast as if you saw, if you didn't think it was fast already, that's true. I have noticed that as well, that it's like, it's copious amounts of time, but also it's always finite and there's always something else that's coming the next day and something else you have to keep up with and you can't, you know, I mean, it's probably good that we don't have copious and copious amounts of time because maybe we can never do anything. <laughs> right. Right. Maybe the, the, the lack of time in a way makes us want to accomplish more, but really what is accomplish more? You know, that's, that's another whole thing that we're, we're asking ourselves. Is it just busyness for busyness's sake? That's, that's always, that, that's the main thing that I'm getting out of this. Am I just getting busy for being, to be busy or am I really taking each moment, you know? In mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead of getting caught up in what you think you're supposed to be doing, which is really easy to do, especially with social media. I know we're all victims of that, but, um, uh, yeah, it, it's giving definitely me a chance to sit down and go, what do I really want to make? What do I really want to spend my day? And all the worries that were there before about what you're supposed to do or who you're supposed to talk to or what applications you're supposed to get, all that kind of stuff. It's nice to put it aside for a minute and, and value our time, right? Absolutely. Let's watch some of um, uh, We're going to watch a little bit of uh, the stuff that you, got, you uh, sent to us. So uh, can you just uh, uh, give us a little bit of background on what it is that we are watching um, when, uh, when my man Nick is, is uh, ready to put it on? Um, so let, let us know, what, is, uh, what are we looking at right now? Okay, so this is a clock that I made recently. Um, I've been very excited about these because I've taken my paintings and turned them into this like functional object. And they're only eight inches wide, so they're not that, that big. But I love how with these, when they don't have numbers on them, you can hang the paintings on the wall in any direction you want. And you can ch change the time to you like. 
I love the deckoiness of these. But this was, again, another clock. Uh, I tried using a brighter color palette to make this one. I ended up giving it more of a distressed look because, you know, when things go wrong, you have to sort of compensate and make it look like it's supposed to. What is it? Happy accidents, right? Um, yeah. So that's kind of what happened with this one, but it looks pretty good in the video, so that's good. <laughs> It definitely does. So, so still screening. I love that art. That's that's something that I, I'd like to get into more. Yeah, uh, I love it. beautiful, beautiful works. Very, uh, <laughs> as my man Matt here says, very deconess. Deco. Yeah. The Is that can, a new, new can, term? can you hear me on the microphone right now? Yes. Can you hear me? Cool. It, was that some of your inspiration for the uh, for those clock pieces? Was it kind of like a deco kind of feel? I mean, uh, Art Deco is sort of an influence a little bit in, in a lot of my work because all of my stuff is that sort of like hard edge, geometric um, looking stuff. And I mean, it ranges anywhere from like um, early Russian constructivism to like, you know, Kandinsky and all that. Um, and Art Deco is really cool to me, but it's not just something that, that's something that sticks out as an inspiration all the time. But of course, it comes into play, right? Yeah, yeah, I know it's true. Like when I when I think about it, and I think back to the pieces we just saw too. You do have there's there's more kind of flow than the hardness of the Art Deco in a way. But I was really excited because I've been painting a circle as well with some lines. I mean, not as okay. complex, and I haven't put a shiny glaze on it. When you said shiny glaze, I was like, yes, <laughs> shiny glaze. <laughs> well, you realize how, what a difference that makes, eh? Oh, isn't it beauty? You're great. I love your art. Personally, I love your art. Just wanted to thank say. You. Thank, thank you. So much. Yes, thank you so much, uh, Zoe. So we're going to take a quick break uh, and go back to some beautiful collective art stuff. But thank you, Zoe. And we hope to see you at a real art jam uh, very soon. I know you missed this one, but we'll definitely uh, hit you up at another time. So thank you for... Yay, uh, sounds great. Yes. So we will go back. We're going now to uh, a collective arts when we create with our hands, we have a chance to turn off the judgment in our heads. When we're in that space, we can just flow without second-guessing ourselves. My name is Natalie Vary B, and I'm an illustrator, educator, and muralist. Today I had a really wonderful opportunity to host a workshop at the Collective Arts Brewery and all the women that came to my workshop created self-portraits that were based in self-love and in self-acceptance. When I started putting a lot of artwork out and getting a positive response, it didn't really stimulate me enough. I found that it's a lot more important to make a difference in people's lives. When I started doing these workshops, I started healing myself as well as other people and giving them the tools to start loving themselves and regain that love for their own bodies. Moi, je m'appelle Ariane et je suis artiste. Tout mon travail tourne autour des rêves puis de l'inconscient. J'essaie que les gens ils prennent contact avec cette partie-là d'eux-mêmes qui est un peu oubliée. Ce que j'essaie de transmettre, c'est justement l'effet d'un rêve. Qu'est-ce que ça nous laisse quand on se réveille, un rêve, le, les traces d'un rêve ou les empreintes d'un rêve? À quoi ça ressemblerait, ça, si on pouvait mettre des images là-dessus? Dans les rêves, il y a beaucoup d'indices de, de, de qui on est. Puis euh, j'aimerais ça que les gens prennent le plus le temps de, de se découvrir eux-mêmes, au fond d'eux-mêmes, pour voir qu'est-ce qu'ils ont dans leur trip. Puis... Plus on apprend à se connaître nous-mêmes, mieux on apprend à connaître les autres aussi par la suite. Pour moi, ça passe par les rêves. Puis j'essaie de que les gens soient en contact avec leur imaginaire puis leurs rêves justement pour atteindre cette partie-là d'eux-mêmes qui est souvent un peu cachée et sublimée. Si on se cache à nous-mêmes, on se cache nécessairement aux autres aussi.
Ça, tout le monde, merci de, de continuer à jammer avec nous. Euh, on parlait justement avant la pause euh, de, du monde de la musique parce que beaucoup d'artistes visuels semblent prendre ce temps-là pour, euh, pour euh, bien, euh, bien créer. Au moins, ça, ça, ça devient euh, une source d'inspiration. Mais pour les musiciens qui ne peuvent pas se euh, rencontrer, euh, on, on se demandait qu'est-ce... Euh, Qu'est-ce qui arrivait avec eux? Je sais qu'il y, y, y a des programmes du genre Jamlink qui existent, qui sont euh, pour, euh, pour jammer à distance, mais euh, ça reste que tu n'es toujours pas tout à fait, euh, pas tout à fait euh, on time. Mais uh, Matt, uh, what do you think uh, the music side is going to come out of this? How do you think, is, uh, how do you think that's going to affect stuff? Well, I, I do hope that, uh, and what I've seen, uh, you know, the people that are on... The people that are at home, I, I, so the other day I reached out, I've been doing live sets on Facebook stream. We did a couple on Nomad Slow TV, which is live 24 hours. So the thing that we're on right now, uh, this is on 24 hours. So we're, we're 24 seven. You can, you can get on and they're streaming stuff. So content that we've made here, uh, that Jay's made, that Nomad has made, that other people have made, you know, and, uh, you know, what, What Jay was talking about with, and I, if I can get into this for a sec, or am I segueing mm -hmm. away from music? Well, go ahead, go ahead. I guess I'm just talking about sharing, and that's kind of what, what I was hearing in the question. Was, yeah. People have been sharing music with me. I did a little shout out. I was like, hey, music friends, you know, play, uh, send me your tunes and I'll play them. And this came from copyright shit, which we had with, oh, later, Migs, you done with this? <laughs> Migs, you got you gotta something to say? <laughs> So uh, it came from copyright kind of flags, you know, which is interesting. We have to work around those guidelines. So maybe there is a kind of push of where it's like, okay, well, you can't go out and do a show. How are you going to do it? You know, there's, there's a push in the, in the government right now that, you know, I know New Brunswick is doing a thing that they're going to pay you a thousand bucks to play a show if you're a musician. So you sign online. online. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And it's Facebook Live. That's, yeah. that's all they're asking. They're not asking for a fancy studio. They're not mm -hmm. asking for... So, so, like, initiatives like that, super cool. We were talking with, with Jason, actually, about this. And the thing with the live, it's like, you could have the best musician in the world, but there's just such a big part that's missing that, that is so crucial, you know? You don't get the mm. vibrations coming into you like they're supposed to you know yeah. what i mean so sure. I, i feel like music is gonna take a hit at least until this whole thing is is resolved and um and i don't that's yeah. a part of the industry that i haven't figured out how uh they they they're gonna they're gonna emerge from the live thing because i know i you know uh, unless you're talking about djs and electronic music obviously it's just like straight input and it sounds more or less okay and i mean but everything that's live music well there's just there it just doesn't cut it you know the the, the live thing is just you, you you miss the whole the magic because of the quality of the sound too on the, the, the quality of the sound stuff. the quality of the sound is is something else so yeah. you remember remember when we were again going back to when this was all kind of bubbling up you yeah know? we had talked about doing art jam and including Uh, hazmat suits, masks, and gloves, right? We An had, another we, great crazy idea. We had another, already <laughs> conceived the flyer. We, we had it all figured out. We, had, we looked online for how much the suits were going to cost. <laughs> it was still a limited number of people because at that, that point, this with this, this epidemic, They were still not limiting two people, four people. There was no, you right. know, there was no limitations outside, inside, whatever right. it was, you know. Right. So it's like uh, it was still at 100 people, 200 people. And that's what we were talking about. Okay, how much is those, you know. So maybe it's bubble parties. Maybe there's a way that, <laughs> no, but maybe there is. And I don't know if that's too risky. Maybe it is at this point. But maybe we can all rent a bubble. And still have a hundred person outdoor venue that that used to fit 5,000 people, mm -hmm. but now it's only for a hundred people in bubbles. <laughs> you <laughs> right. know, maybe there's the that, bubble jazz know? fest. Yeah, yeah. promoters, <laughs> whatever, get at me. I got another couple plans. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe there's like there's ways, there's obstacles, of course, but there's I think ways that we haven't 
Yes. You know? Uh, people from Zoom, tell us what you think. Do you think uh, the music industry, like, do you have ideas for the music industry to, to, cope, to cope with, with these, these strange, strange times? times. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez? Qu'est-ce que vous pensez qu'on pourrait faire pour la musique uh, dans des temps comme ça, sachant que uh, les Facebook Live <laughs> pour les artistes uh, qui font de la musique uh, instrumentale, donc avec des instruments, uh, sachant que ça, ça, ça prend énormément de de temps et de ressources pour faire de quoi de bien. Est-ce que vous avez des idées pour, euh, pour ce côté-là de, de l'industrie qui est, qui est peut-être un petit peu plus impacté que la majorité des choses? Dites-nous-le dans les commentaires. Um, en attendant, ou plutôt, uh, as a segue, love, word, of the, word of the night is segue. Uh, as a segue, we uh, have a, another interview with... Uh, Sabra Blast Laker. I hope I, I, I'm saying her, her name right. Um, so, uh, Sabra, let's. Uh, just one sec, just one sec. Let's hope this Zoom thing is. Uh, yeah, yeah, please, please. Disinfecting, disinfecting, disinfecting. disinfecting. Good. Good. Thank you for the disinfection. I appreciate the, the, uh, the whole thing. So, um, yeah, our next, uh, our next interview is with Sabra. Um, she's, she's for a second. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just came back in time. So, uh, how, how are you doing, Sabra? I'm doing okay. I'm just drawing at the moment. I love, I love the accent. Where are you from? I am from England. I am here on a um, working holiday visa, and I'm just at the beginning. Great. So, how did you hear about our job? Um, um, it came up on my Facebook event. I believe, unless someone sent it to me. I can't remember, but I went to one art jam event and I met Hannah and um, it was a really awesome band and it was really awesome and I really wanted to get involved. Um, but then obviously COVID happened. Um, so here we are. Cool. Well, uh, happy that you've enjoyed at least a, a, a live version before uh, coming to us in uh, the virtual world. Um, so, uh, so, uh, welcome to Montreal, by the way, beautiful city, beautiful people, beautiful everything. Um, and a great, uh, great place to, to definitely, uh, uh, network in the creative world. So, um, I'm not sure if you, you, you've just tuned in or you've been here uh, since the beginning, but, um, uh, I've been here since the very, very beginning. Since the beginning? What an OG. Thank you so much for, for being here. And I see people like have been here been chilling for a while so i hope we're not uh, boring you thank you for uh joining us i've seen kids uh, uh doing the art uh, the it's a party out there it's a wild jungle in the zoom uh, world but um uh, back to you Sabra. um so what is it that you're doing uh, out of this free time like you have all the time to create like tell us tell us what's happening for you how are you using this covid 19 forced break Uh, well, um, to begin with, I had a few like other art events lined up and I was going to do a, um, my artwork was going to be exhibited in a, in a cafe in a couple of months time, but I don't know if that's going to happen, uh, whether the business is going to stay open or not, I guess I have to wait and see. Um, but I've been producing a lot of work. Uh, I've, I've been trying to learn French, um, <laughs> I'm trying to get better at cooking. Sleeping is good. Sleeping is okay. I mean, uh, I've been doing way too much sleeping. Like, I, I'm, I'm starting to feel, like, ridiculous. Um, so uh, I, I definitely hear you on that. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. There's, there's no, there's no um, mandatory uh, work to be doing right now. So, Have you uh, – how has it affected your creativity? Do you think it has uh, acted as a positive catalyst, or are you – Just having too much time on your hands and uh, not uh, not figuring the time to focus. Um, whether I'm working or not, I'm churning out artwork all the time. Uh, so I've kind of been doing the same amount of artwork as I would usually be doing. Um, but I have a little bit more time to. I also play the guitar and play music, so that's also nice to have that spare time to be able to focus on learning and developing my music. Um, Yeah. <laughs> cool. I, um, uh, I, yeah. That works. I've, seen, um, I've seen something uh, online that I, I, I just love, and I'm going to say, uh, say it again uh, for those people that are just uh, joining us now. So 
um, in the in the rush to return to normal, let's use this time to consider which parts of normal are worth rushing back to. So my question to you is, uh, what parts of your daily life do you realize that you do not want to go back to even after this whole cataclysmic event is uh, back? Well, I was working as a dishwasher because I don't know French and hospitality was the first thing I could get into. But um, I would really love to um, keep developing, um, developing, developing and not going into that line of work that is not satisfying. So that's why I would like to learn French, go into something that is more satisfying Um but yeah, this is what I was working towards, but it's kind of been put on hold at the moment. So, um, can you show us what you're working on before we leave you here? Uh, show us yeah. the, the progress of your of your art piece. Yeah, I started this today, and I thought I'm going to call it I'm going to call it spread. Um, spread. I don't know whether you could see that, but it kind of looks like a virus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. It, it looks like you're you, you're off to a good start. Um, yeah. So, uh, um, I used, um, I used, uh, I went around um, pennies for the, the circles. Okay. Um, but I thought, you know, during this time, there is obviously the spread of the virus, but what else do we want to spread? We want to spread good vibes. We want to spread love. We want to spread support. We want to spread oh, yes. um, other things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. be uh, <laughs> so uh, thank you so much, uh, Sabra, for uh, joining us. Enjoy Montreal. I hope you're here long enough for for us to have you back at a real live R Jam soon enough. Yeah, it would be good to see everyone in the flesh. And we will definitely come to to England to do some R Jams there as well. So uh, just yes, please. Let's be ready for us. Keep tight. We'll be there. Thank you so much, and uh, no we're, uh, we're going to go back to uh, a a short break episode for you visualizing before you go to their interview. Yeah, yeah. let's go. We we have the Sombra uh, music video up next, so let's check that out.
And we are back uh, with Matt. Matt, first of all, how's it going? I'm doing well. Uh, you hear me well? You hear me right? Yeah, we can hear you fine. We can hear awesome. you fine. Awesome. Um, so if you've been uh, listening to us for the last uh, few minutes, we I've, were- I've been, there for the, I've been there for the whole two hours in and out. Oh, kind of yeah. Hanging out with are, going We're there. The we're there. I That's Honestly, we got a lot of great artists. Like I, it's, it's been really cool to, to check in. So, oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. We, have, uh, we have some greatness uh, and, and more to come as well. Um, so uh, like we were saying a little bit earlier, we were talking about if people have ideas or like how do musicians cope right now? Obviously, you can't go into a jam space. Uh, I'm not sure if the technology is really there in terms of live music. It is for DJs and stuff like that for the live, but for the for, for actual bands, it's a whole other different ball game. It's possible, but it, it needs a whole bunch of gear. So, how are you guys coping right now, like within within this new world? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's super difficult um, at the moment. I mean, we're we're the project is it's actually a solo. It was a solo project for a long time, so I'm still able to you know do a lot of writing. But the problem, I mean, we we're kind of an electronic act and um yeah a lot of our gear is still at the jam space i kind of haven't had a chance to be able to go get it because i was quarantining myself uh because i was in contact with somebody that actually had it so i'm fine okay good but uh yeah no i have it i wasn't able to leave i'm finally going to get some equipment in the next few days um but yeah it's, it's been difficult i mean we can't jam obviously we we like we have a lot of gear and it's like I've kind of it's been it's been it's been a break, but it's been also interesting kind of getting back to the roots. Like all I got here is an acoustic guitar, and I'm just dealing with it. You know, like I'm still playing, I'm still trying to like build stuff and like work on stuff. But yeah, no, it's look, it's a departure, and I think everybody. I like that. I mean, it's it sucks, but I like that we're all in it together, and it has a real you know connective feeling as well. As as much as we're disconnecting, it's very connecting. I'm sure that kind of sentiment's been uh, put across by a bunch of people that we've you know it's an over the night so it is but i'm happy that it has you know because i it's not when you listen to the news when you listen to to any any big media outlet that's not necessarily what's coming through it's it's very much about statistics about you know stay at home do this do that uh, so it, it's great to hear something about the actual people and and if there's at least one thing that we accomplish tonight is to actually listen and hear from the people that uh, there is some positive that is coming out of this, and uh, it's definitely a great thing to see. Um, yes. So, yeah, Matt, Matt has a question. Uh, I'll, I'll, no, I was, another Matt. There's a, there's a, yeah, no, I, you could say Matt, 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 Matt earlier, and I was like, wait, who are they talking to me? Are they talking? Yeah, to yeah, me? No, I know. It's, uh, we've we we've, in a digital we've world. met. We've met uh, kind of, sort of, you know, in the this world and that. But yeah. I know I really did like what uh, what. Uh, Matt was saying uh, about uh, kind of getting back to the roots that you hmm. were talking about. You just have an electric or a, an acoustic. acoustic guitar and that you've been connecting with that. And, you know, like, I think that sentiment is really real, you know, because like yeah. I think all of us would have been like, okay, everything's going to shut down. What do I need for the next three months? Or I would have rushed. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if we were all prepared, then it would have been, like, much easier, you know? But, like, it just started breaking down, and it was like, oh, fuck, can we leave the house? We don't know. Uh, uh, uh. So to, to kind of, like, get back to this this root thing, this base thing, this... Shocking. You, know, if you only have, you know... A, you things you're like people are going into those cans in the back of the, the the pantry there that they haven't seen in years people are eating escargot with coconut milk you know and usually they're a steak and potato kind of people you know? yeah and like yeah. We're acoustic guitar to like get back to these essential kind of things the real and the wine, and wine i got i got some of it right here you know there you go brother you know the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. of the great as they say anyway i just wanted to kind of reflect on that it was it was it was a really cool sentiment and i totally agree and it's uh, i find that really inspiring you know and it's like even people that aren't necessarily creative, I hope this is a time that they're going to get so bored with Netflix and watching and streaming on Nomad Live slow TV <laughs> that eventually they're just going to go and paint something or pick up drumsticks or start beating uh, the table with wooden spoons. Not each other. Let's not hit each other. Shit gets weird, but come on, nice. <laughs> 
Um, but you know that depends yeah. the context. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're home. We're home. Ha- has it been a good experience for you, like songwriting wise, or or is it just really uh, just the sentiment of coming back to the roots? Like, how productive has it been for you? I, I mean, for me, it's been really weird as well because we were like ready to go on a marketing plan. We were actually going to be releasing an album in May, um, and that obviously kind of it's all shifted. I, we're going to be pushing it a bit forward now. Um, but it's been really weird because we were kind of setting up to get everything going. So it was like, I was out of the songwriting phase. We were kind of into the rehearsing, getting a tour ready, all that. We were ready to go hard, you know, like the art today's the art jam date would have been kind of the beginning of like a tour ish that would have kind of started May as well and kept going. So it was like, it was pretty, sh- I mean, it's pretty like, that kind of took up a lot of my time at the beginning. It's like, okay, what are we going to do? We got to like stop, move forward um, and figure out what we're going to be doing. Um, You know, after we kind of planned out what, you know, the next few months would be. Yeah. I know since then I've kind of sat down, started writing a bit. Like I have my computer, at least I got some uh, my electronic stuff there. I got my guitar, like, you know, kind of getting some roots going again, just, you know, like we got to stay inspired and it's, it's, I can't jam with my band. I can't, I can't, like that was, you know, going to jam twice or whatever a week was like a, a, a really good release. And it was like something I was always looking forward to. So it's that, that element is difficult, but I mean, you got to keep, you got to keep going. You got to keep pushing forward. I think that's like the one thing that everybody's kind of needs to get at. And it's, it's like, it's, it, you, it is not a time to stop, you know, stop making art. This is, if anything, it's a time to make more. So Word up! Yes. Word, word, word up! Good, uh, yeah. good finish. Um, and uh, I love I, the energy in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're hiding out, man. I don't know. I don't know if it's the collective arts beer or it's just a <laughs> quarantine or just happy to see people. Uh, <laughs> we love you I'm too, mixing, man. I'm mixing everything. But um, <laughs> you were you were talking about timing, like you had hmm. this whole uh, the, the whole core plan, and I can 100% relate to that. We were supposed to go in a bunch of new different cities as well as as, as visit uh, some cities that we, we had rocked in the past but hadn't been here, and it, it just all blew away. blew away, like just like like blowing on a candle, basically. So, uh, so I definitely feel feel for you on that one, and yeah, time waits for nobody. That you know, it's 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 never a good time for for these things to happen, and it's uh it's the, the truth is inconvenient sometimes. But you know, we uh live another day. We live another day. Um, so uh, what parts of what parts of normal life do you not uh, are you not looking forward to come back to? Oh well, uh, <laughs> box one. No, it's, yeah. <laughs> Other than box wine. Got to do you in the house. Do you have a tattoo of that? I heard there's somebody in Montreal that has that tattoo. Is that oh, yours? No way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a bicycle? I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm inspired. I'm inspired. I think I want it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Next um, art jam, you can get that, right? Yeah, yeah. There's always tattoo artists, right? Right, right, right. right. So true, it's true. Oh, okay, it's true. I need to, I need to add up. I only got one, so yeah, I need, I need that's my <laughs> next one. Yeah. No, but I heard your question, but yeah, it's gonna be weird. We were just talking, like I, I, I live with, with uh, two roommates as well, and we were just trying, like, basically, we're thinking, like, oh man, when this is over, we're gonna have like separation anxiety because we've been like living in this quarantine together for so long, but it's like, it's weird getting back to normal life will be, uh, yeah, I feel like we're all going to be like very hesitant. It's going to be a slow progression. It's going to be like, you know what? Like I've gone through some like harder times in my life where I like, you know, wasn't the best place. And like, I feel like it's going to be a similar thing, but as a society, as a collective, you know, like it's when you, when you're in a rough place, like it comes and it takes a while for you to kind of get back to normal get back to feeling good and i feel like this is gonna be something with for society in general it's gonna we're not gonna notice it it's not gonna be like snap like oh back to playing shows back to doing all this it's gonna be like okay like okay we can do this we can kind of oh should we like connect okay let's 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 chill let's hang out for like a night and then like all of a sudden you just notice that you're like going out more it's gonna be like it's gonna be really weird it's gonna be it's not gonna be i don't think it's gonna be like a quick change you know and that's gonna take getting used to that's what i'm I'm not looking forward to the stress that goes along with that, I think. But 
you know, it's going to come and we're going to like, it, we're going to be, uh, it's, it's going to be back to normal eventually. It's just, it, it'll be a different normal, a new normal, you know? Sorry. Cool, man. Well, uh, happy that you're, uh, ha happy that you're, uh, you're still, uh, you're, you're, you're still keeping on. And uh, we'll definitely uh, try to have you at uh, another art jam when we do come back. Uh, with some Zoom it. people, I do see you uh, putting your 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 boxed wine in the in the. <laughs> yeah, I, love I love. I started something. It's good. That's all I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. good. It's good. It seems like everybody's uh, everybody's showing uh, that the they drink. It's good. <laughs> I mean, well, I said everybody's having a good time. Um, so we're gonna. Yeah, we'll definitely see you at another art jam very soon. And uh, we hope to uh, have you jamming with us in good time and that uh, your album launch will uh, definitely still happen. Please call yeah. us if uh, you need anything, obviously. For so sure. uh, thank you, man. man we'll, we'll keep in touch. Talk soon. Talk soon. We'll be putting out some new music uh, in the next little bit, probably. Once I get some gear back, we'll be going to drop some... Uh, some I might do some stuff in my house once I get a little a few gears. I'm, I'm missing like three to four um, chord keyboards and shit to make music. But uh, once I get it, we'll uh, stuff done. Right on, man. Thank you very much. Cheers, good night. Cheers, Cheers guys. Good night. Thank you, Thank you for, for tuning in. So, uh, merci à tout le monde d'avoir uh, resté avec nous pendant tout ce temps. Thank you everyone for uh, having stuck with us uh, for these two hours. It's already uh, close to, to ending, but we still have a bunch of other images from people that have sent in to us. We have uh, images such as Ariane Bilodeau, Marilyn Nuka, and a bunch of other cool artists that we're about to feature. Uh, Ariane Bilodeau. Ariane Bilodeau qui nous envoie ça en direct. No, I really love what she sent us actually because we really got to see her working uh, en confinement. Yeah. It's well, en, co en quarantine. This is true she, quarantine stuff. So she even like, looks dressed up like she's... Uh... <laughs> this is legit quarantine right there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you don't get more pure than this. C'est son boyfriend qui a fait uh, les images. Yes, yes. Right? Shout out to Benjamin. What's good? What's good? We see you. Yeah. So how, how do you find these artists, uh, Sasha C? Um, I think... Uh, Good people just come together naturally, and uh, we also have an amazing team that uh, uh, seeks out these artists. So it's it's a bit of a give and take. It's not uh, just one thing. Uh, some some people apply, some people uh, we find. So shout outs to Hannah and shout outs to the entire Talent Hunter team that has been uh, with us uh, over the years, and shout outs to people that just apply directly. I mean, we definitely are always open for new. Uh, candidatures. Uh, Ariane has been with us for uh, years now, so we're happy that she's still creating in quarantine. It sounds good, creating in quarantine. There's just a, yeah. a ring to it. it, it. You know, I, I believe that uh, inspiration is just things that you you capture. It's 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 ne it never comes from one person. It, it's always a, a a mix of things, and the best things come from a bunch of minds working together. So to answer your question, we Sasa. Ça a commencé au coworking il y a maintenant, euh, comme je disais plutôt, euh, bientôt quatre ans euh, qu'on a fait le premier Art Jam Volume 1. Et l'idée, c'était vraiment juste au début de mélanger l'art visuel et la musique, donc la musique live. Et euh, depuis ce temps-là, ça, ça a grandi en, en monstre. On a ajouté euh, plein de disciplines et même euh, c'est devenu comme une plateforme ouverte que les artistes ils décident donc je pense que ce qui est très différent avec ce qu'on fait c'est qu'on donne vraiment la carte blanche aux artistes de créer qu ce qu'ils veulent en direct et c'est pour ça que ça crée autant une belle communauté parce que c'est vraiment des créateurs qui viennent ensemble et qui euh, font ce qu'ils font de mieux donc on donne ni un thème et ni euh, on, on met même pas de style musical donc euh, tu sais ça peut commencer avec euh, de la musique acoustique puis ça finit avec euh, de la musique super heavy euh, puis là dans le milieu il y a du funk donc ça c'est ce que je préfère du hard jam It's so eclectic exactement puis il euh, y en a certaines personnes qui trouvent ça intense mais justement c'est ça qui fait le charme du hard jam c'est que c'est pas comme les autres euh, et, et c'est super diversifié et quelqu'un qui vient au 36 hard jam il va avoir 36 différentes expériences parce que c'est 36 différents 
euh, différentes collections d'artistes visuels et musicales. Donc, il euh, y, y a toujours quelque chose à découvrir à chaque Art Jam. C'est pour ça que vous devriez acheter votre passe en passant. <rire> euh, just, just saying. Mais, euh, mais ouais, c'est ça vraiment la, 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 la beauté de, du, du, du... La beauté du, du Art Jam et, et vraiment, on, on, on laisse ça ouvert pour que le monde, y, y, non seulement il s'exprime, mais il rajoute leur propre grain de sel. Et euh, on, on voit, comme la dernière fois, There's been amazing projects that came out of this. You know, some some people like work for for weeks, even months, just to just to be able to do something at the Art Jam. And really, like the main attraction is definitely always the artist that creates something, you know, within them. And we hope also that we uh, give a certain amount of knowledge and tools and a platform for them, not only to have exposure but also. Be able to sell themselves better so it's also a i guess a a, a career learning journey uh that we're trying to to give to them and, and give as much value uh not only in in giving them a space but also uh for themselves to 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 learn how to sell themselves better as artists as well so uh it's a bit of of, of both of them don't get uh, at m lucas uh, marilyn luca oui Luka, on est uh, on est maintenant avec uh, marilyn luca qui nous envoie ces photos. Un autre habitué des Art Jam, je dois spécifier. Euh, merci au... au... C'est un, un bon mélange d'artistes, cette fois-ci, un bon mélange de, 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 de ceux que ça fait un certain temps qui sont avec nous et de d'autres qui euh, viennent nous joindre pour la première fois. Et comme vous avez entendu un petit peu plus tôt, il y avait une, euh, une, une... quelqu'un de l'Angleterre qui nous a même... <rire> qui, qui, qui vient puis qui, qui a connu l'Art Jam pas longtemps après qu'à calmer et, et à, à, à commencer à, à se mettre dans cette scène-là. Donc, on voit qu'il y a une certaine attraction, euh, puis c'est définitivement une, une sorte de maison pour euh, tous les nouveaux artistes qui, qui arrivent à Montréal puis qui essayent de euh, se créer un nom. Donc, Là, tu as euh, des tattoos aussi euh, au Art Jam chaque fois. Si tu t'appelles ici We have ici. tattoo as well. I think this is a new tattoo artist that we haven't featured yet called Zach, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry if I am, but I'm, I'm pretty sure It this is, is Zach. Zach. Zachary. Every time. We say that every time that the last performance is always the the, our favorite. Uh, we, Flower K, a uh, great band that uh, we discovered not too long ago happening and it's absolutely beautiful. They do some soulful pop R&B. Uh, we had them on the show and they came and they rocked the hell out of our jam. So, uh, désolé pour les, uh, les difficultés techniques au début, mais écoute, on apprend puis je pense qu'on est déjà rendu plus sharp. Uh, ouais, 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 déjà ouais, après ouais. jour 1, on est déjà sharp. Donc, merci à Nicolas Rody, définitivement uh, un, un, un Shiva de plusieurs uh, bras. <laughs> um, uh, thank you to my co-host Matt Williston for rocking the hell out with me and doing uh, amazing um, amazing talks uh, merci à Collective Arts Bruno Mallet qui uh, nous a apporté de la bière pour uh, qu'on qu qu puisse uh, uh, qu'on puisse vivre <laughs> dans, dans, dans cette quarantaine oui, uh, and thank you Nomad Live Jason Rohde for putting all this yeah, together yeah. as a a virtual stream uh, we're, we're all in this together donc, euh, merci à tout le monde. Signing off. Euh, J'espère de vous revoir dans un Art Jam virtuel ou vrai. Mon nom, c'est Sasha Jones. Merci d'avoir été avec nous et on se revoit au prochain. Here's Flower K for the ending. Peace out!